Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Shayan Banerjee and today we are diving into some special complications of acute streptococcal tonsillitis. Streptococcal tonsillitis is not just a sore throat. It can lead to serious complications. We will explore the hidden dangers, prevention strategies and management options. So without any further delay, let's unravel the mysteries behind streptococcal infections. Firstly, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis, which typically develops within 7 to 10 days of an acute attack of streptococcal tonsillitis. Penicillin is the treatment of choice for the underlying streptococcal infection and it is important to note that there is no clear evidence that antibiotic therapy improves the clinical condition of PSGN or not. In severe cases, tonsillectomy may be necessary to eliminate the source of infection and prevent recurrent attacks of streptococcal tonsillitis. It is seen that tonsillectomy reduces the increased ASO titer that is anti streptolysin O titer in patients um, with streptococcal infection uh, in many journals. Coming to the second one which is scarlet fever. It is caused by streptococcal bacteria that produce strept endotoxins and it is characterized by symptoms such as erythematous rash, swollen lymph nodes, fever and redness of the tonsils and pharynx. The membrane covering the tonsils is typically more fragile compared to that seen in diphtheria. Scarlet fever is used, usually treated with intravenous penicillin G. Additionally, individuals with scarlet fever may experience a red tongue with setting of the surface papillae, often likened to a so strawberry tongue. Thirdly, acute rheumatic fever can develop within 1 to 4 weeks after an episode of pharyngotonsillitis caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. It results from the production of cross reactive uh, antibodies in response to the streptococcal infection. These antibodies can affect the heart muscles leading to endocarditis, myocarditis or pericarditis. Once the heart tissue gets damaged, it is difficult to reverse the process. Patients may also present with joint pains skin lesions like nodules or erythematous margin, erythema marginatum and uh, neurological issues like Sydenham's chorea. Next one is Sabe. Patients with valvular heart disease who develop acute tonsillitis are at risk uh, of developing a complication known as subacute bacterial endocarditis or SABE. This condition is often caused by an infection with streptococcus viridans and is characterized by inflammatory vegetations in the heart valves. It's important to be aware of the potential complication in order to provide appropriate care for these patients. Lastly, the PANDAS, which stands for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorder, associated with Group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infections, which is a condition associated with the abrupt onset of severe exacerbations of obsessive compulsive type of behaviors or tics in children following infection with the bacteria known as GABHS. The pathophysiology of this condition is thought to be similar to that of Sydenham's chorea. 
in which antineuronal antibodies cross react with regions in the basal ganglia leading to the production of behavioral and motor disturbances this condition is an important consideration in the evaluation of children presenting with the sudden onset neuropsychiatric symptoms in the context of a recent streptococcal infection that's all for today's discussion thank you very much for your attentive listening subscribe now to stay updated on more interesting topics related to ear nose and throat diseases thank you Thank you.